Grab yourself a cold one or a cup of coffee or tea. I'm here again to explain you something about advanced custom front end submissions with the pl plugin advanced custom front end submission. Uh, so we have here a post type and then you have of course the advanced custom fields that you've made. And when you go to the advanced custom fields, then you see that I've made a list of metadata and they're all, all in here, inclusive, inclusive the repeater fields. I've explained you how you can uh, use repeater fleet in the previous video. But uh, I didn't put in here the taxonomy. And when you go into uh, the address, then you can see that it's not an, it, it's a text field and it's not an, uh, a Google map field. And there's a reason for that, and I'm going to explain you uh, why I did that. So um, let's uh, see first uh, uh, the Google. So when you are uh, when you have made an um, uh, when you have embedded here in the uh, front end settings, the advanced custom front end settings the AP and you have uh, put in here the Google key that you have to use you know uh, when you're making a, a, a Google uh, key you have to uh, search for uh, you have to able the uh, the maps the Google Maps and the uh, uh, geolocation so I've also made a tutorial for that as well so you can check that out but anyway uh, that's the first thing that you have to do you have to uh, put in the, the the APs and then uh, you can see that in the uh, in the advanced custom fields it's a text fields as I, as I told you so uh, you go in here and you see that is a text fields and uh, when you go into the uh, fluent form, again, I have already made a video about the uh, fluent form and front end submissions and how can people can pay you for the posting. But uh, when you're going there, then you can see that um, this is this is a Google Map. So uh, able auto complete with Google Map enable Google map so what that does is when we are going to the post submissions and we say from well we want to post a new post then you can see that uh, they can click in here and then they get the location but even if they say uh, well it's Amsterdam then they it puts automatically the location in here and when they drag and drop it then you can see that it will change the location so um, that is what you can do in fluent form but then again when we are going back uh, no it's not the right way but I do it just this way and we are going to uh, the forms so we go into the jet engine listing where I've put in the form and this is the form for adding the posts then you can see that it's the advanced custom group, group fields with the text name so not, not the Google, but uh, the Google Maps, but only the text. So when you preview it, then you can see that they only can put in the text. If you don't do that, then the whole show won't go on. It's, uh, it just won't work. And especially when you're using, uh, for example, uh, the tables. Uh, so uh, when you're going to the websites and you're using Ninja tables, this is the Ninja tables, then uh, you get a very strange result here. So when they uh, change the, the, push, uh, the, the their, um, uh, city, 
then you will get here a very very long text with uh, the altitude and uh, well it's just so long they don't know what it's about so long as it's um, when you are uh, adding uh, the advanced custom uh, front fields then of course you can choose for uh, the advanced custom field group so this is the group when you see here that you can ch check advanced custom fields but you can also check the advanced custom fields group and what that does is take all the advanced custom fields that you've made let's not make it too complicated uh, no i have to change it because we so we're going back and then we are watching the advanced custom fields Sorry about this delay. And then when you go to the advanced custom field, so it grabs every advanced custom fields that you've put in here. So you don't even have to make an, uh, a form. So that if, you, if you see here, but advanced custom front end and then the forms, you don't have to make a form, uh, but you can use uh, this one, the text and all the, the whole group. And then you can choose uh, from what custom uh, post type it is. So um, this is the advanced custom field group that I have made with advanced custom front end submissions. Now, uh, what you do see here is that I've made a uh, separate group for the taxonomy. And um, that is because when you're using uh, the taxonomies, it won't work when you put it in the advanced custom fields. So when you go to the advanced custom fields and you add a new one and you say it's a taxonomy and then you choose for the taxonomy and you use the taxonomy group that you've made. So in this case, it is, it's this one. And when you publish it, it won't work. What uh, happened then is when, you, when you're doing it that way, uh, it puts in the taxonomy twice. Uh, so uh, when you're going uh, here and uh, you're going to your custom post types and we're using this one, then uh, it would put in the taxonomies in here, but also in these fields. And when they're updating the post, it will override it and it will put it in here. So when you've made the taxonomy fields and it will put in, in here the taxonomy and then uh, it won't update because it thinks it's a uh, regular advanced custom uh, fields, but uh, instead of that, it's a taxonomy. So uh, that is very important. Now, speaking about uh, taxonomies, when you are going to uh, the tables, the uh, fluent form near table pro then it's uh, also important how you adding that taxonomy into the table so uh, that is the the, the table eh, that uh, i've made let's see where is it um, well i'll show you later on this is a preview for, of the table. So as you can see here, this is uh, the taxonomy and this is the meta field and the photo and um, the future photo. And this is also an, uh, a meta. So when you go into the query settings, then the first thing that you have to do is choose your um, custom post type. So in this case is, uh, is this one. I bet you can speak it out because it's Dutch. But you can find it in here and then you have to check the box and then you have to say i put it in here but in this case we have to delete that one because we only use that one uh, the second thing that you have to do is search for the taxonomy so uh, i have already uh, made it put it into this box but when you can see that uh, put it back then you can see that you have to check it and you have to put it in here and you can also do it with the post type title uh, once you have done that uh, then you can see it uh, in here that it has been added so uh, you can see here 
this is one meta, this is another meta, this is also a meta, and this is the taxonomy. So don't think that you can uh, use it in here. It's just a little bit the same thing as the advanced causal fields, and then you can uh, search for the taxonomy or something like that. No, it doesn't work like that. So um, I have to cancel that. Uh, the other thing that you uh, can do is adding a link. And when you uh, see in here that I've uh, chosen for a uh, button link and uh, you can uh, customize it a little bit. You can change the color, uh, make it around it it's, and check in no follow. So uh, when uh, you're using the front end submission, you don't want Google to follow the link because it can be a bad link. And uh, that is not so good for your websites. And then you have to choose for the short codes um, with value with that HTML, and you can see in here what you can do. Uh, so the uh, post uh, permalink, if you copy and paste it in here, then it will, uh, when they click on this button, then uh, it will redirect them to the post. But also you can uh, use a uh, post meta key, so you can change this key to uh, do whatever you want. I'm not gonna cover this in this tutorial, but, um, Anyway, this is the way you have to do it and how you can do it. Um, so yeah, that, that was the most important thing. Um, one thing that I also have to uh, uh, want, want to show you is, for example, that... Um, now, keep, keep in mind, I want to say it once again. If you don't do it the right way, then uh, it might can be that your website will be broken. So. Uh, if you're doing this stuff, guys, then always make a backup or make a sh an, an, an snapshot with, uh, for example, uh, what I'm using is a uh, 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 WordPress reset. Uh, WordPress reset. So I made a first an snapshot and then I'm going to try it out. So keep that in mind. It can break things, you know. So be careful. Um, yeah, the, uh, there is another thing that I want to show you, and that is the uh, Fluent Form Pro. Um, if you've seen all the forms, then um, you can see here uh, the customers that uh, sent the posts. And when you want to delete it, then what you think that you have to do is click on each and every submission and then go in here and then make it to task. But uh, the funny thing is that uh, you can select them all uh, on this way, but you have to go back, you have to push in this button and then suddenly the magic happens and then you can select them all. So it's, it's a very bit funny, but uh, that's just the way it is. And then you can select them all or uh, select a couple of them. And then you can choose here for the lead them permanently and then apply and then they are gone. However, this is another page. So uh, you can delete this as well. Maybe you have to refresh the page. Let's see. Yeah, you see, there are almost uh, deleted, but there are uh, eight of them rest. So let's just do it. Sorry, that's just me. <laughs> I don't stop till I get what I want. So delete it permanently and apply and then kaboom. Yeah, bye bye. So um, that's the one way, but uh, when you think by yourself, well, that's a very bit uh, annoying and I want to delete it. Um, uh, when they post it, I want to direct it to delete it. Then you go to the form and then you can choose the form that you want to customize. And then you, oh my God, then you go to the settings. Um, and then you go scroll down and then you say that you want to delete it after submission so you can ch check for that then it will uh, 
delete it automatically so you don't get a notification anymore or you want to able it uh, to delete it uh, in one day or two days uh, whatever you want so it won't get a mess into your um, uh, database um, yeah that was it uh, for this tutorial uh, speaking about database uh, when you uh, have the pictures uh, when they have a, a front-end submission for example in here uh, I've made a tutorial how you can use uh, snippet codes and then uh, delete it automatically when um, somebody has deleted their post but uh, you can also uh, use um, the team uh, the plugin Wi-Fi backup uh, let's see if I have uh, already put it in there um, oh happy add-ons so uh, when you check this in and we activate it then we can go to the WordPress Vivid plugin and we can delete the posts from the database so uh, when you go into the backup restore cloud restore the settings i think it's the settings if i don't can find it right away then we do it another day uh, no i can't find it but anyway there is a tool image cleaner i think that that's the one so yeah this is thinking the one so um you can scan it when you are scanning it then it's search for unused pictures um, in your database and then you can clean the whole thing up so let's wait for it a little bit you can also skip it and watch a tutorial about cats or dogs it's also funny but you can also wait a little bit and yeah I hate to wait so uh, when you see here the pictures then you can uh, choose for delete them and isolate them so is uh, first the thing that you have to do is isolate them and once you've done that so this is our, our op uh, image that you don't use anymore so the posts that they have been uh, used for are deleted all the posts are gone and then when you go to the uh, to the media isolated then delete all images and then apply it and when we once we have done that then we can go back to the images and it should be fine you have a less mm, images so you have uh, already a couple of them but uh, the, the, uh, there are deleted posts from the database now don't don't watch this post uh, these images because they are empty because uh, I've uploaded to the post and not to the post ID but that's another thing I'm gonna explain you that later on so um, yeah that was it basically and I hope to see you in the next time in the next tutorial have a nice day